Hi, this is Luke with Aero Racers. Today we're going to be building and flying one of our fun shuttles. A fun shuttle is a flying wing. It goes up like a rocket and then it glides like a bird. But before we can get to flight, let's start by building one. Start by decorating your fun shuttle wing with markers. Use bright colors so you still can't see the construction lines easily. Use scissors to cut alongside the outside line of your fun shuttle wing. Be precise when you cut and take your time. You will be rewarded with a well-flying fun shuttle later. If you have trouble with this step, ask an adult for help. Place the wing spar in position inside the dotted lines. Make sure both ends of the wing spar are flush with the construction lines. Use tape to attach the wing spar to the wing. Cut two pieces approximately 2 cm in length. We use blue tape for clarity. Apply the tape over the end of the wing spar. Make sure that the tape is flush with both ends of the wing spar. Again, make sure the tape does not go over either end of the wing spar. Take the motor stick and slide the propeller assembly onto the motor stick from one end. Now take the sleeve and slide the sleeve onto the other end as shown. Take your fun shuttle wing and place the motor stick onto the fun shuttle wing with the motor shaft facing up. Use the construction lines to help you center the motor stick on the wing. Cut two pieces of tape approximately 4 cm in length. Align the motor stick so it is flush with the front of the wing. Apply the tape to the motor stick by centering it on the sleeve in the back of the motor stick. Then, using the thumb and index finger, glide alongside the side of the motor stick applying the tape and then Push it firmly down onto the wing. Take the second piece of tape and apply it to the front of the fun shuttle motor stick and attach the motor stick to the wing. Your fun shuttle now is complete. Congratulations! Locate the wingtip folding lines underneath the fun shuttle wing. Then proceed to fold the wingtips up at a 90 degree angle. A 90 degree angle or a right angle are the same thing. Make sure that both wingtips are at about the same angle as seen from the front. Locate both fold lines for the flying stabilizers. You want to tap them up lightly so they both are at an up angle as shown. Take the rubber string and tie a knot into the loose ends to form a loop. You want to make sure that the two loose ends hanging off the back end knot are as short as possible. Ask an adult for help if you have problems with this step. Attach the rubber motor to your fun shuttle by hooking the knot around the back end of the sleeve and the front part of the motor through the motor shaft. Now we are ready to head to the flying field. Now that we have arrived at the flying field with our fun shuttle, we need to go through our pre-flight checklist, just like real pilots do before they take off. On the fun shuttle it is important that both wingtips are bent up and that both tail stabilizers are slightly bent up. You do not want to crease them, you just want to slightly tap it and bend it up. When you get ready to wind your fun shuttle, I want you to hold it with one hand on the fuselage as close to the front as possible because it's easiest to spin the propeller as you hold it towards the front. Now that we're ready to wind, 
we wind the propeller clockwise, seen from the front. How can you check whether you can wind some more? Very simple. You hold the rubber band motor between your index and thumb and without pinching it with the nails you hold the rubber band and try to move it right or left. If you can move it still more than one inch either way you can go ahead and wind some more. Now that we're ready to launch our fan shuttle you need to remember that this is a vertically ascending airplane so we need to hold it vertical into the sky and then give it a shove, let go of the propeller. This is one way to do it or the other way is you hold it in front of you, hold the tip of the propeller with the other hand, give it a shove vertical and let go of the propeller and the airplane at the same time. Before we can launch our fun shuttle we have to do the WAC check. W for wind direction, A for area clear and C the countdown. So let's start with the wind direction. We need to make sure that we launch the fun shuttle with the wind at our back. So we grab a little bit of grass from the ground or something very light, similar, and just toss it and we can tell the wind is going this direction. So we launch the fun shuttle with the wind at our back. We hold it like this and make sure that the back tails are kind of going away from us. That tells us that we are positioned correctly. A check, that means the area check. We make sure that there's nobody in front of us where the fun shuttle could hit. Now we are clear to go and we have to go to the C, which is the countdown. We hold the fun shuttle in position and we do three, two, one, go. All right, now let's troubleshoot your fun shuttle. Let's start with the launch. The fun shuttle is supposed to go straight up in the sky and rotate as it goes up. If it doesn't do that and starts flying like a real airplane after launch, that means we need to check our wing spar location. The wing spar needs to be located inside the little dotted lines. Same for the tape that holds the wing spar. If your tape or wing spar exceeds the little dotted lines on either side, Remove the tape, put the wing spar back in the correct position, reapply the tape, and you are ready to launch again. If your fun shuttle during the glide flies up, down, up, down, that means it's stalling. You just reduce the angle on the back fins a little bit, bring it down, and that will take care of that problem. Now let's troubleshoot the glide part of your fun shuttle. The fun shuttle is supposed to glide somewhat straight and then kind of the wind tosses it around. But if it comes down in a tight spiral to the right or to the left, you can adjust it to go fairly straight. So let's assume your fun shuttle flies in a tight right spiral. That means you need to put the left fin up a little bit more in order to produce drag and that will make the fun shuttle fly to the left. Vice versa, of course, if your fun shuttle flies in a left spiral, you kind of raise the right fin a little bit. Three, two, one, lift off. This is what a perfectly flying fun shuttle looks like. Perfect transition into the glide recovery mode. And here she comes gliding down nice and easy. We wish you many happy landings with your fun shuttles.